This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. It's Alex, it's the Ramble, it's another week of fun and games, right here on GabNet. Oh yeah, and here we are, yes, this is it, this is all there is, it's all that's left of me. Look at this, I got this dewlap here, there are no sun, well, is that what they call it, a, I don't know, turkey neck. Ah, it's great getting old. It's just great, you know. And then the the bit next next big event I have to look forward to in life is death. So you know, it's it's great. It's just wonderful getting older. <laughs> oh boy, I wish I could enjoy this. Uh, but everybody, bone in your body aches, and you get this thing, and you get that thing, and you know, it's just one thing after another. Well, anyway, listen, I gotta. I got to uh, talk to uh, somebody who we talk to once a week in one form or another, and uh, another is probably the best best thing I can say about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer. Hello there, Philip. Hey, how you doing? How am I doing? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's been another couple days. I guess, um, you know, I thought about why... Uh, the show on Monday ha is such a nice show because it's the same people, pretty much. No, who you, who you know? Yeah, it's it's the same people. No, uh, or many of them. No, no. And, yeah, we got Charlie. Brian sometimes calls. Okay, uh, and, is uh, that the same people? And that's it. The, 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 we have, but we have about fourteen you people. Got Scott Boddicker. Well, Scott uh, never calls this show anymore. Well, he used to. No, but he doesn't. Well, you know the the no, thing the fact is, is the fact is that most of the callers to that show are people who do not call this show. Well, let me let me say this about that. Uh, you know, with this twi Twitter thing. Uh, well, let's not even get into that yet. Okay, okay. It, but it, the reason the reason is is that all the people that call that show are in lockstep. They they all feel the same way about trump or politics or just life in general and that's why there isn't any uh you know back and forth well, when or, you're not here pretty much everybody agrees with each other and it's still not as civil or or as lovely a program as uh, the one on monday oh well that's because alan's there well yeah. <laughs> you know i mean I, I i i don't know what kind of audience i would get if you didn't call and if alan didn't call because i I, I get complaints about both of you. I don't want to call because that Phil is there or that Alan is there. You know? Yeah. And well, I got one of those the other day, and I was saying, you know, I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. The person was afraid that Alan would call the Monday shows, and I said he wouldn't because I've asked him not to. You plus, know? he's sleeping, uh, you know, by uh, that time of day here. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a night owl. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess he used to work the night shift, and he's continued to to live in those hours. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, and I was also trying to think of why you didn't remember me, and now I know why. Why? Because you really I, make no pr impression on people. Well, uh, I thought you were Terry McGovern. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, nobody. Uh, uh, most people would not get that joke who are watching us right now. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, he's a nice guy, mm -hmm. and uh, I was actually on his show once. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Lenny Bronstein, uh, when he came to San Francisco, he actually DJed Terry's show while Terry was there. He just had him spin records and and do his thing. And you know, Lenny is a very talented DJ. Uh, he was the program director at uh, W. BCR, Brooklyn College Radio. Nobody cares about any of this. You realize oh. that. Well, anyway, you realize so that. They, they called me up from the show. No and wonder we only have 19 people watching us right now. <laughs> hey, that's because, 19 more than you usually get. Because, I mean, you know, we're talking about heavy Lenny Bronstein. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you know who he was. Well, right? who once a year still sends me a birthday card. Really? A birthday online now. Yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah. But he's, and he's not so heavy anymore. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. You know. But um, anyway, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a story. Also, mm -hmm. I understand my eye, I'm actually having some problems medically. Uh, and I don't know if this is a cataract. You said you had a cataract. Uh, and um, what happened was earlier this week, uh, or, or late last week, I started getting these flashes that look like comets going a across my no, eye. That's not a cataract. No, that, that was the beginning. Now I have this circle that moves around in the eye. When I turn my, when I turn my head, it looks, it looks to be about the size of my iris. And it just and it looks like it floats from one side to the other. The, uh, you would find that a uh, cataract does uh, at least my cataract didn't float. My cataract, my cataracts uh, uh -huh. were in the center of the eye and were blurry, and they stayed that way. In other words, if I look straight ahead, I look this way. It didn't float back and forth on the eye. It was there. Is there a possibility because I'm moving my eye or looking to the I right? Don't know. It might be a cataract. I, uh, go to see a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Well, hey, you had you had a cataract, and uh, you know I had think two, that two I, cataracts. Yeah, well, I I have. They told me mine weren't ripe, but maybe they are. Well, that that's what they call it. They say ripe. You know, is it ripe yeah. yet? You know. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. so I'm going to talk to the doctor on the phone. You can't even see them. Uh, you know, I'll talk to her on the phone and uh, you know tell her what I got, and then they'll set up an appointment. Hmm. Boy. But, uh, yeah, that's that's yeah. no fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, talking about health, Tony is driving me crazy. Uh, he he has like a three point something. Oh, PFA. He, I already talked to him about that. Right. I and, in fact I had him call me so I could tell him all about it. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, a couple hours ago. See, I talked to him a week ago. I gave him the name of my urologist who mm -hmm. I, I thoroughly trust more than any other urologist, because right. I don't think you can trust a urologist, to be honest with you. He said that uh, your urologist doesn't take his uh, welfare insurance. His uh, welfare insurance? <laughs> I don't, you know, it, it could be from the city. I don't know. Maybe he's got Cobra from the city. But whatever he has, uh, your, your urologist doesn't take. And I said, look, all you want is a second opinion. Just pay the guy out of pocket. And uh, get your second opinion and decide whether you're going to do yeah. it. I said, if it was my choice with your level of PSA and the fact that it's gone down in the last six months, I wouldn't do it. Mine went down, down too, but I turned out to have prostate cancer, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Mine went down sufficiently, went down by about a third. Yeah. And then he did a separate test along with the PSA, and I can't remember what it was that called. The free free no, PSA? No, no, it's not the free PSA. That's another thing All that's another thing they do. This was yeah. a newer test that they do that gives you the possibilities that you might have a Gleason 7 or 6 or above, okay? Yeah. And it came back positive. So that's when he gave me the, the uh, uh, biopsy. And you told yeah. Tony that's what he should ask for? Well, I said, if you go to this doctor, he will do that. He believes yeah. in this test as being a good predictor of uh, prostate cancer. Okay. And, well, and, I when, told they, and when they went in there, they found prostate cancer. And one of, one of the lobes was a Gleason yeah. 7. The rest were like 5s and 6s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had, uh, I told him, I asked him, I said, is there room next to your mother and father's plots for you? And uh, he didn't like that. And I said, you know, you might want to shop for a headstone now. Uh, it'll be cheaper if you buy it now instead of What kind of, of insurance does he have that they wouldn't take it? I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's uh, it was something I never heard of and, and don't quite remember what it was. Wow. Because it's got to be a pretty bad insurance if, uh, if, if, if a urologist doesn't take it. Your, yeah. Urologists like to take almost everything because basically they deal with older people. 
Mm-hmm. So they make sure they take Medicare, and then they also take all the other secondaries, you know. Well, Tony doesn't have Medicare. He's not old enough. No, he's not old enough, but he has some kind of insurance. And I think if it were a reputable insurance, they'd take it. You know. Yeah. Well, and, and now Tony must take these tweets and go to all sorts of different people because Alan just texted me and said that Tony's driving him nuts. With his P- Tony, quit driving these people <laughs> nuts. <laughs> they don't know a damn thing. That's right. And by the you way, know, call the program. I'd like to find out what kind of the insurance you've got. Yeah. Hey, you know, I uh, I also uh, you know figured that is it's it's uh, you know how many people on this show have gotten prostate cancer uh so i told tony i said if you keep calling to the show you'll you'll get it you know uh, actually you, got you, you I, and i are you and i are the only two actually. no david uh, remember the guy from czechoslovakia oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, what's his name not the guy from czechoslovakia but uh, uh, um, um, the uh, vernon vernon had it right but yeah. he, he he got it before he called the show no he was calling the show a lot but he he told me he had it, and then we went through it, and you know. Oh, okay. Uh, the the first guy I remember was a guy thirty nine years old. He was living in Philadelphia. He was from Czechoslovakia. Oh, oh yeah, he never calls us anymore. I can't remember his name now. Uh, yeah, David something. His his father. He was staying with his father, and his father would turn the electric off uh, in his in his unit because he didn't like him using the electric and calling. Uh, the states. Yeah, but 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 th- th- this guy got uh, got prostate cancer or something, and they put him in, put him in a, a radiation proof bunker weeks. or something. No, right, yeah. it was like a couple of months. No, I thought it was two weeks. No, a couple of months or something. Yeah, I don't and remember it, what that was. That it was, was proton therapy. He said. Yeah, proton therapy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it must have been the proton therapy that uh, they they bought from Russia. It could be. That's when they just take a piece of radium and shove it up your ass. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what essentially they did with me. Yeah. You know, they said there are only a hundred little seeds of radiation in me. Yeah. Well, uh, are you starting to grow plants? I, it, I don't know. I don't know. I still have trouble. That thing, you know, it, it, I think it was the actual, I don't think it was the seeds that have caused the problem that I have. I think it was the actual radiation that I had that, cause yeah. some pee problems and things like that yeah well uh you know they they do but um uh, i was on a uh, i get these emails well, you know something this really let's see oh we're up to 21 people now phil just hey okay, they you. like cancer talk <laughs> yeah and no wonder uh, no wonder i can't get young people to listen to this program i have no youth appeal not with people calling up saying well my prostate cancer yeah. Let me ask you something. If you did have young people, what do they buy? If you had advertising and you had a demographic like you had in the in, in San Francisco, which was mm-hmm. eighteen to thirty five, yeah. you were you were the king of eighteen to thirty five. Mm-hmm. But what do they buy? You know, they, you know, you know what advertisers? Uh, oh, would... uh, uh, oh, the younger advertisers, uh, younger demographics are in in broadcasting and everything else considered the most coveted it really oh yeah no not the old people see here's the reason they think that uh, they don't want that old people are not a good demographic is mm-hmm. that when you as an older person you're already set in your ways about the products you buy so why waste their time spending money trying to get you when they can go get some young person and get them hooked on Coca-Cola or get them hooked on... Yeah, they know. don't know any better. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, I never, I never considered that because in my business, my number one demographic is uh, women 55 to 65. <laughs> and, you know, it's, uh, that, yeah. that's who buys floor covering. Yeah. Did you ever score with any of the women who came in to you to have you lay carpet? Uh I, I don't like to kiss and tell, but yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I figured. Because somebody who's asking you to lay their carpet is asking for it. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> that's, that's one way to interpret it. Yeah. Can you make my carpets match the drapes, please? I, I don't think so. Not yeah. the ones that uh, that went out with me. Yeah. But, um, you know, this. Uh, you want to talk about Twitter? No, I'd rather talk about what happened when you were trying to lay carpet and some woman was, like, coming on to you. Uh, A lot of times it was afterwards, you know. Uh, 
just well, it wasn't that many times. <laughs> Trust me, I got how, laid how more many, how, camel. How many times? Uh, at least four or five. Oh well, that's a lot. Well, yeah, I, 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 I honestly, I got laid more. At camel. I mean, I got into the radio business uh, for the sex and for the records, free records, and I have yeah. one hell of a record collection. <laughs> yeah, you still uh, no. I thought you got rid of them. I, I still uh, my records I got rid of. Yeah. yeah, the actual LPs I got rid of, except the comedy LPs. I still have the comedy LPs. They must be yeah. worth something. But yeah. uh, well, you know, vinyl is coming back. But I can't imagine. You see, I haven't listened to vinyl in many years, and uh, I can't imagine the quality of a vinyl record could even come close to the digital the clean digital signal that you people that, who who are into vinyl say vinyl is much better than digital yeah. because it has a dynam dynamic range that digital doesn't yeah. digital is kind of flat i mean yeah. it, you know you get all the bases and things like that but basically it's a fat, flat signal digital had this uh non-digital analog um, yeah. had a much better quality most people say and there well, are the people show. there are people who swear by vinyl and uh, have turntables and everything and listen to music that way well there was an album that i had as a kid that i loaned to a friend and mm -hmm. never got back of course and i and i bought another one but uh and so those were I, the only two albums you ever bought huh <laughs> yeah, the rest of them I got for free. It said, uh, you know, uh, uh, D DJ copy or uh, yeah. you know, promotional use only. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I looked around. I started looking at turntables. And then I said to myself, I don't need a turntable. I'm not going to listen to this album. I'm just going to maybe frame it because I like the cover. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and I had I bought it when I was 13 years old originally. Hmm. Hmm. And uh you know, I loaned it to you. What? The the album. What album was it? Uh, Napoleon the Fourteenth. They're coming to take me away. Why did? Why did? Why would I have taken it from you? I already had a copy of that. Your your copy was my copy. Oh, is that my copy? No, this is my copy. The copy you had was my copy originally that I bought when I was thirteen. And then I gave that back to you. No, you never gave it back to me. Then how'd you get it back? I bought one for $112 on eBay. Oh, well, I don't remember having that one. Well, you didn't have I, this one. I, I just I paid got, $112 I think I got, for it. I think I got that one when they were put it out and they were promoting no, it. No, 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 no. You said, hey, I never had the album. I, there's well, some if we're going to argue over. about this, Phil. All right, all right. Uh, that's the end of this friendship. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what did you what did you quit being friends over? Oh, Napoleon the Fourteenth uh, album. I, no, I I didn't. I you know I loaned it to you and uh, I never got it back, and it wasn't your fault. That was the stupidest work. record, by the way, that ever came out. Yes, and it was a massive hit. Yeah, it was number one in nineteen in July of nineteen sixty seven yeah. on WMCA. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. And you know what knocked it off out of the number one spot? What? Wild Thing. Another stupid song. <laughs> Wild Thing. You make my heart, heart sing. sing. You make everything groovy. groovy. Wild Thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're coming to take me away. Ha ha. Had other hits like uh, I'm in love with my little red tricycle. And uh, none, a, a of few hits. Hits. none of those were yeah. hits. Well, uh, now the the it goes like this remember when you ran away and i got on my knees and begged you not to leave because i go berserk well you left me anyhow yeah you know it's it's you a, it's actually a, remember the lyrics to that thing yes yeah <laughs> hey when you're 13 years old <laughs> that's the kind of stupid stuff you do mm -hmm. so uh, what's been floating your boat news wise well uh, I am kind of... Here's Phil with the news. Don't yeah, believe um, any of it. What? Well, go ahead. Also, that thing that uh, uh, Browning uh, did, Jim, uh, Jim Browning, uh, the uh, you know the drinking game, mm -hmm. a number of those things are coming to fruition. But <laughs> so maybe... <laughs> anyway, hmm. uh, the, the Twitter thing is kind of interesting. Here it is, the richest guy in the world, 
And we don't even really know his politics. Everybody's up in arms at Twitter. Yeah, they don't know his politics. Crying. Don't know his no, politics. They don't, they don't know his politics. He's a libertarian, we think. Uh, he's, uh, I, th I think he's, uh, you know, when it, when it comes to this, he really wants uh, uh, open discussion and uh, and the left has sort of uh, pushed the right out of social media and media in general so that uh, you know 50 well, I mean media in general I mean most of the m most of the most po the biggest uh, uh, inter internet uh, not internet but uh, cable uh, news outfits are, are right wing yes but there's no uh, lack people, of right wing there. There's half the country that doesn't listen to any right wing media. So what so what happens is uh, just like on your Monday show, everybody is in lockstep and they all sort of hey, do, uh, I don't keep right wingers off this show. They just choose not to call. That's well, the problem. Well, you they, know, they, and, and part of that wait a minute, part of that problem is 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 what has become the zeitgeist uh, has become the tone of the times and that is that you have a, a Fox that plays to the right wing you have MSNBC that plays to the left wing so that when I'm trying to say okay I've got a, a forum here anybody is allowed on it anybody is allowed to state their opinion on it uh, and you know that to be true because you know you're you're here, here. you've been here for a long time uh, and uh, Patrick, who doesn't call the show that often, Patrick was another Republican, uh, conservative, uh, who I loved having on the show, you know. Uh, but what happens is, is the, the right wingers go, I don't want to call that show because there are lefties on there. You know, no, and actually, and, I've asked people to call, and they say that they don't just like the left doesn't want the resistance from the right mm -hmm. well those people on the right don't want the resistance from the people on the left uh and they 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 just don't want to put themselves in that position the position that i don't mind because i'm an idiot and i and i call <laughs> but you know as far as uh you know most most of these right-wing people and I've asked. I have a friend, Stoney. Uh, I have another friend of mine, Conrad, who recently passed away. Uh, very well, conservative. Well, then he should call because only people who call this program are dead people. So. Dead people, yeah. right. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, he said, oh, you know, oh, no, I'm not going to call. They don't, they don't seem to want to be put in that position. And my friend Conrad was... Uh, was a very intelligent guy uh he he was he was on the johnny carson show he was on a a, a lot of things uh, you know and he uh in media and uh, you know i just i couldn't get him he was in several movies but i, I you know he said no i'm not going to call mm. uh, he talked to me but it, you know we uh, well, some people just don't want to talk uh, uh, call a, a you know a, a podcast that's all you know it's a, that that's understandable too if well, I weren't doing this, I wouldn't call one. <laughs> Why not? Why? No, because I don't care but enough to. This is the way people communicate and uh, now. This is this is the medium that that uh, this is the talk medium. I mean, you can't call a talk show uh, whether it's on TV or radio and get this kind of interaction uh whether it be right or left, I mean, you you, you can't. Who, what shows have this that don't just limit it to a couple of callers where you take all comers, and look at your talent that you're able to have these kinds of discussions and be open. Whereas on Twitter, uh, the current uh, the current staff there really doesn't want the right to expose their. Well, I don't think that's true. Right. I don't think that's true. Well, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's true. I think that what happened is there's been a lot of pushback against Twitter, against Facebook, against even YouTube, that uh, uh, the people are being allowed to spread general mistruths. Right. And so they felt they had to do something to fight against that to keep these people off their back. Now, you're going to be surprised when I tell you that, uh, like, for instance, I have Marjorie going, oh, Elon Musk is going to let Trump back on Twitter. And my answer to her was, so what? Trump said he didn't no, want no, to get no, back on Twitter. Forget about that for a second. Yeah. I just said, right. so what? You yeah. know, I mean, come on. I mean, we, you know, everybody knows that they, don't, they have to take everything that, that Trump tweets 
with a grain of salt. I think even you do. Something. If you were to be honest yeah. about it. Well, let me well, finish. Let me finish. Okay. And then I, you know, I, quite frankly, I don't care whether he's back on Twitter or not. To begin with, I don't even look at tweets. And secondly, uh, one of the things that, uh, that uh, Musk is thinking of doing, since he now is the only owner of Twitter, it's not an. It's not going to be a. Uh, it's not going to be on the open market for. Is that the stock. verified? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's a genius. No, he's paying forty-four million dollars. Oh no, no, no. That's to be the only. Not to be not being the only. To be the only stockholder in. Right. It's a. It's going private. Is what it's yes. doing. Okay. Uh, and he said that what he may do in order to you know, make it worth his time and his money is to start charging a subscription to oh, Twitter. Oh, well, I didn't hear that, but what yeah. I did hear him say... No, he did say... Was, yeah. what, well, this is what he said, and I thought it was genius, uh, that you know how you have these bots and these other things that are uh, placing uh, information that is really disinformation? He said that he was going to make sure that everybody that was on Twitter was human and was verified human and mm -hmm. not a bot right and I, I think a lot of the a lot of the misinformation we're getting is being placed there uh whether it's the left trying to make the right look bad or the right trying to make the left look bad mm -hmm. but and then they're stirring the pot and i think a lot of that was computer generated bots and i think it's genius on uh musk's part to uh, to say look if you're going to be on this uh uh, platform you got to be a person well let you me can't. let me also say that uh he um uh i think feels as and i've said this often myself on this show mm -hmm. because i don't bar people from this show because of their opinion i never have and i never will i yeah. will only get rid of them or bar them if they're in, if they're annoying to the, if they obstruct the, the 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 ebb and flow of the show Okay. Yeah, if they're there to create if, habit. If they create a persona that, uh, and you were guilty of this occasionally in the past, of uh, hijacking the show is my term for it, yeah. uh, but never for opinion. And uh, my feeling was that even though something, if you're going to have an open forum, you have an open forum. And the free speech, and I've said this often, you've heard me say it, yeah. free speech is an absolute Right? Well, that's it's, why it, I think it, that it, it does not have exceptions. And that's now let me finish. And yeah. that's exactly what Elon Musk said the other day. He said, I've that, always believed that free speech is absolute. And if you say you're going to have something open to everybody as an expression of free speech, then you have to bite the bullet and let everybody on. Right. Now, you know, you don't yell fire in a crowded theater. But on the other hand, if you have an opinion that is uh, that differs from someone else's opinion, you just can't well, silence he them. He said he would he would probably censor stuff that went in uh, contradiction to, to 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 federal and local laws. You know, or, or if people attacked other people, I, I don't. I well, think I don't think he. I, he I, it, it, it. All I'm saying is that I think he feels that it has been it it. it, it put itself out there as being an open forum and it had become less of an open forum. And Much I, I would agree. I do. You know, I don't care if Trump's on there. I don't, I, because I don't look at Twitter anyway, so I don't give you know, a crap. When you look at the uh, Fox commentators, mm -hmm. almost every one of them has been uh, banned from Twitter and Facebook. No, which almost one? Every Who? one of them. Who? Uh, uh, the, the ones in the morning. Uh, no, they haven't been. Yeah, they, they said it this morning. No, they haven't uh, that, been. Uh, and now maybe they're back on, but they, they haven't, were. They haven't been censored. Even Hannity has not been banned. Tucker Carlson has not been banned. Uh, however, was, however, they yeah. do watch them closely, and whenever right. they might say something that looks like it's an absolute untruth, they will make a notation. That's that's part of it. That they yeah. will, that, uh, saying, you should probably take this whole thing with a grain of salt. Right. Yeah. Which I, I think is yeah. fair. I think that's yeah. fair and but responsible. They don't, but do they do it to the people on the left? I'm sure. I'm sure uh, they well, would. I don't think so. I'm sure not, if, not I, if I came up with some heavy lefty opinion that was untrue, that was untrue, 
Yeah. They would they would do that. OK, they? the people uh, that I'm talking about had made some comments. Uh, one of them was that uh, Faulkner, Harris Faulkner. Oh, that, uh, that, that cunt. I think she's pretty reasonable. And uh, oh, yeah. She looks oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She, well, and anyway, uh, she said that uh, she was uh, taken down because she made some comments about Hunter Biden's laptop. And and also the New York uh, is it the New York Post? Yeah, but she was ta- uh, her her tweet was taken down. She was not taken she, down. Uh, I think she was. No, she wasn't taken down. OK, well, I, I'll look into that further. But it, it, now the New York Post was taken down. Well, they, uh, here, look, and then I, I want to take some calls here. And if you'll stick with me tonight, I'd appreciate it. Sure. Um, what it's what I said earlier is that these companies have been under such scrutiny lately for yeah. uh, just uh, allowing these things to go through that they're now being, they're censoring themselves in order to prevent that kind of, uh, uh, fl- uh, what do you call it, flashback or, you know, slapback. Uh, they, they're they trying to protect themselves, okay? And, and I think what's wrong is them having to feel they should protect themselves. I think they should have common carrier status if they're asking people to have a page on Facebook, excuse me, folks, I have the grips. Um, yeah. Is that on, Section 230? Is, is that what the... No, the, no, 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 no. They, 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 you have... Uh, there are certain things that have uh, common carrier status. Uh, one of them was uh, that they wanted in New York was for... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, public access. Well, to, you did that. Uh, yeah, to be that way common carrier status would mean that all they're not responsible for they're only responsible for how they administer it and so on but they're not responsible on how somebody uses it in other words facebook should not be responsible for how people use their facebook page because they have no real control over that and shouldn't have to the only thing they They should care about is that what they are controlling uh, well, know, I got yes, a 29 we, day. Uh, 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 of course, Phil, because these companies feel the only way they can keep them to keep the doors open and not have the government on their ass. And both from the right and the left is to uh, is to just uh, be very safe. Okay. Yeah, I posted a uh, picture of a like a pill bottle that said Clorox on it. And it was for uh, uh, COVID uh, things. It was a joke, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said that that was misinformation. And for 29 days, I wasn't allowed to do two things, which I don't remember what they were. But. Listen, I'll tell you what drives me crazy on YouTube. I have one commercial here that has some music behind it. And every time yeah. I play that commercial, they say, you're going to have to share your money with uh, the owner of that song. And then I write them and tell them, hey, that song uh, I pay for. And the public next, access. yeah, and then and the next thing I know, public domain, pu- public domain. No, it's not public domain. Oh, it, you I, have I, that I, service yeah, where you it. pay a yeah. hundred bucks or two hundred bucks. Yeah, and I, you and get I, video clips and audio right. clips. And so, every time I play that spot, it would they'd say, oh, and then they I get another message saying, oh, you've been I've been cleared, you're okay. Yeah. Every single time, they didn't notice it once when it happened. They just went, oh, well, let's make a little mark here. Anytime he plays that song, he owns it. Okay. That's right. So I mean that's that's how these companies run, and they're not they're not particularly good at what they do that way. But anyway, listen. Let me um, bring them on in. Let me see. Take here. my name let down. Let me see here. <laughs> uh, let me let me uh, beep, 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 uh, let me take your name off there, and then let me bring in all these people that all have something they want to say. We got Charlie Wallace. Oh, we got Scott Boddicker. Yeah. Hi, Scott. How you doing, Scott? He called. <laughs> and uh, uh, we got, uh, oh, we got Kevin, and we got Alan, and we got uh, uh, Jeff, and we've got Charlie. Oh, wow. Hey. Hello, guys. How are you? Hey. Good. Oh, I shouldn't Good. say guys because that's considered gender specific. <laughs> How about uh, friends and, uh, and fellow <laughs> unions? No, you're just not supposed to say guys. Uh, so some, Phil, yeah. you, you, Phil, you told me the album that you lent Alex was Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> it was that too. Oh, boy. Mm. Anyway, so I've got Mary Poppins. What's wrong with Mary Poppins? 
Nothing wrong with Mary Poppins. Can you sing it? What? Mar yeah, yeah, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, Mary <laughs> no, Poppins, Mary weird. Poppins. What? <laughs> And on your uh, fill on your thing with Elon Musk uh, on ABC News Monday night, uh, they interviewed Elon Musk and said, would you let Donald Trump back on? They said, we'll let anybody on, including Donald Trump, but they're going to they're going to watch people and fact check them. OK, yeah. you know, I think that's reasonable. I mean, I have, you know, I I I I, I always had a question about whether Donald Trump should have been removed from uh, from Twitter uh, only because as long as you say okay this has not been fact checked or it may be wrong or whatever mm -hmm. and you make that comment on it I think you're keeping it in tow I think uh, you're, you're making an unreasonable decision not to let somebody on when you say this is an open forum how did they yeah. fact check the original town square? You know, when uh, in the 1700s, when you had the 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 guy. Well, if they who didn't like what you said. They took you to the town square and hung you. Is what happened. <laughs> so. They had a pistol. Yeah. But you know that that that's basically what Elon Musk is trying to create. Is that same? Uh, no, you I, know. I, I I to begin with, I do think he's probably gonna gonna create a subscription model for Twitter. Uh, and then nobody will be on it. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody wants I don't know. It. He did. He did pretty well with this first venture. Everybody knows that PayPal. But we're not talking about PayPal. Was something that uh, did he buy into PayPal or did PayPal already? He was one exist? of the creators. He was one yeah. of the creators. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, he created that from the beginning. Here we're talking about something that already exists. Right. But this guy took a hundred and twenty million dollar payout from PayPal. Uh, when he sold it, 120 he, billion, I think. Oh, 100 oh, million. million. That was all. And yeah. now he's worth 240 billion less what he spent on Twitter. <laughs> and he you still know? doesn't shop at Carpet One. Huh. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of women who want to have sex with Phil do, and that certainly is a right. reason to go to Carpet <laughs> at One. At least in the day. <laughs> they they were there. Oh, you haven't seen the pictures of him in the day. Oh. <laughs> He saw me in the day. Yeah. He just can't remember. Thank I, God, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I I vag I vaguely remember you, Phil. I vaguely remember you. Vaguely. Vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. Um, but uh I mean, what do you guys think of uh, Donald Trump perhaps going back on Twitter? Do you does that bother you at all? I don't have Twitter, so I I don't use Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I got off of Twitter mm. when they threw Donald Trump off. The only reason I got onto Twitter was to see his tweets. Really? And so you, you yeah, wanted, you wanted to know what your marching orders were every day? Absolutely. Value your papers. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I just, uh, you know, I found him. You know, I mean, I, I just, you know, people are just too fearful of Donald Trump, you know, and... Uh, uh, you know, everybody well, he almost destroyed our democracy. Well, yes, but but they're too fearful of him. Like, oh, he's coming back. He's going to run again. And he, I, it, what, there's no guarantee he's going to be the nominee. You know, I don't think he could be. And no, I think DeSantis will take it. Well, well it's early. It's too early. Sometimes somebody that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, you know? DeSantis could die in between now and then. Hopefully. I mean, this early in the game, had you said a guy by the name of Barack Obama was going to be president of the United States, you go Barack who? You know, mm -hmm. so Carlson's going to be the nominee for the Republicans. <laughs> oh, really? Is he American? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, they. I've heard stories that Elon Musk. I guess his parents were from South Africa, and wasn't didn't they go to Canada and then he came to the states. And so they were saying, oh, he's a product of apartheid. And uh, I, these, are, these are the things that they're saying to try to put fear in, into people. Uh, you know, uh, about, I, I'll about tell you, I, my only real uh, uh, association to Musk is my love of the space program, and my love of the exploration of space, and the fact that this guy has done an amazing thing. I mean, he's taken a dead idea, that of space exploration, and put it back in the forefront, and and it made it to become a possible a, a possibility, and I admire him for that. 
you know. He's and, not adding the space junk. He's recovering it. Well, I what I did is what I did is I watched this documentary on him over the weekend or about SpaceX and their first flight to get a person up on the those two people up on the space station, and just his whole history. And he had he said when he went into the whole thing with SpaceX, we're going to try three times, and if we can't do it by the third time, I haven't got enough money left to put into this okay and they sent up three of them and they all crashed every last one of them mm -hmm. and he said okay i'm gonna you know take it out of my own pocket i'm gonna do it but we're gonna try one more time in mm -hmm. other words he bet the bet the bet the ranch bet, bet the farm i guess is the term bet the farm mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, fourth one was gonna work and it worked and he got 1.5 billion dollars from nasa to continue his work and that's what got the whole thing with spacex rolling well i see that, that kind of thing is a very brave financial move in a very <coughs> questionable technology and i i just you know i admire him for that and i admire him for the fact that i've always been very pissed off that when we went to the moon i said well the mars is next you know and a colony on the moon is next and none of that happened. And he made a point. He said, you know, uh, the Roman Empire built a lot of stuff, and then after a while, they didn't do it anymore, and they forgot how to build aqueducts. <laughs> and then he said, then then so-and-so did something, and I can't remember who it was, and they forgot to do how to do that anymore. And then when finally we sent man to the moon, <clears throat> brought him back, and then never did it again and forgot how to do that. He said, what I'm that trying to do is to try and remember what we did and to do it. You yeah. know, we, we had a goal and we had some leaders like Kennedy uh, that uh, that made a goal for our nation to get a man on the moon. And uh, I think that if it was anyone else, it, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, if somebody had posted today uh, uh, a saying that Kennedy had, which was, you know, uh, in in those years, people would say. Uh, well, you got to remember, uh, Phil. It wasn't it wasn't just Kennedy. Kennedy got killed. Ken yeah, Kennedy but, made that speech. I think in '62 and in '63 he got shot. It was give credit to Johnson for yeah. continuing well, programs. Johnson continued a lot of the things. Yeah, but uh, Kennedy Kennedy said uh, that uh, think not of what you can what you can think of what you can do for your country, not what your country can do for you. And this is what the guy posted. And he says, you know, we don't see any of that anymore. And I said, you know, people, my comment was, uh, people now say, what's in it for me? You know, with them, they call it, what's in it for me? Mm -hmm. And and that's that's what our current population and generation is more interested in, 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 in that than, uh, you know, what Kennedy had said. Okay. Yeah. You're right, Phil. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I hear Kevin <laughs> say that? Wait, 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 can't drink. You can't you only drink when he's wrong. Well, well I, I must be wrong one. if I'm right. <laughs> I may I may get dehydrated tonight. Oh. Damn it. Pop it, Phil. Sure, Phil. You know, I mean, it, it, yeah, you're right, Phil. I mean, uh, but the the fact is that that uh, we forget forget how to do all these. And it, what pissed me off is we never after the moon we didn't do anything. We became NASA shipping and hauling, and that was no, about wait, it. Wait, but we had the space station. Well, no, wait, no the satellite was, technology to is, begin with. Most is, of the time, that wasn't our space station. Was well, it was the it international was the space, space station. We had one called Skylab. Skylab, but we got rid of that and we went with the International yeah, Space went, Station. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, did the Russians say that they uh, were going to throw the Americans off of the, the uh, space station and they weren't going to transport them? And Elon Musk actually stepped up and said, I'll go get them. I'll go get them if need be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. So, you know, I mean, uh, it, but, but it became NASA shipping and hauling to the space station, and that was about it. That's all we did with it for the they next... Next thirty years, and what pissed me off is I felt that within my lifetime I'd see us land on Mars, and uh, apparently I'm not going to, you know, because people just oh they they all got this thing which I always hated, which was we have met more problems here on Earth we got to take care of. 
We got a well, rover. One on. of them. One of them is happening right now, and it's the fact that this planet is now starting to kick us off of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we we have a a, a rover. Uh, we put a something onto Mars, and it's taking pictures, and, and it's amazing. And it's taking samples. Nothing like having a human being down there doing it. You know. There's nothing like having human beings on on the moon, on Mars, on these planets, working there. It's different than having a little robot running around. Would you want to put a human at risk uh, in yeah. that situation? You're not before putting him at risk. You fully understood it, what was going you know, on there. We, it, what's to understand what's going on there? We oh, know yeah. we've known for years what Mars is comprised of. Now we're just simply doing experiments. But we could yeah. do them faster and better if we were there. Yeah. Am I right, Charlie? Come on, you're the space yeah. guy. You agree with me on that one? Yes, I do. They, they, they've always said in space exploration, there's nothing like having a human being there. But don't you have to walk before you could run? This isn't walking before you run. This is like sending a robot down to do the work for you. Uh, it's you know. it's it's beginning. I mean, they're they're taking samples. They want to see if there's any disease or things that uh, we uh, know. There's no disease there, Phil. Yeah, we know well, we, everything. We, we know e everything we really need to know about Mars, except some of the early parts of its history, whether it contained water, whether those canals were as a result of water, uh, and whether there's still snow caps up in the up in the north, which might uh, be able to be used for water. Uh, but uh, that's you know we know pretty much everything we need to know about Mars. We've been going there for how long? Have we go been going there, Charlie. Mars, well, when the first uh, land, it's like in the 1960 something, my favorite Martian. No, <laughs> no, no, but when, 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 we've been going to Mars for the last, what, 30? Yeah, like thir Mariner 4, or whatever, the first time we went to Mars. Uh, was it Mariner 4? Let me look something it up. Something like that. Let me look it up here. And I see. Can, yeah. I can okay. Google, 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 Google Mariner 4 and tell me what year that was. But, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, and, and we're doing the best we can with robots, but we really want to get people there. And, and Musk has created, uh, he's got this, uh, the big rocket now that he's been, he's ready to fire. And that's the one that's going to go to the moon, and that's going to be big enough that they're going to be able to live in it, okay, while it's there. I mean, this you got to realize, if, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen um, uh, the lander the lunar lander uh you have to go to the smithsonian i think to see it today doesn't it look like the the mars rover people a say bit? it was it's a tin shack is what it is it was it, it was hardly anything this it's thing a is capsule it was a, it was a capsule no, right it wasn't that, a capsule that was like would then square, join up with the rocket no but it was a square thing and yeah, uh, yeah and it goes up and then it hooks into the rocket and then they you know they go inside and then they jettison it oh. because why take it back with you yes yes charlie mariner 4 was launched to mars in november 1964. 1964 yeah that's and how, it got to the planet in 1965 so that's so, the first time we went so that's to how mars. many years ago 1965 that's almost 60 years ago 57 years okay. 60, yeah, 57 years so ago. you figure we've been going to mars enough phil no, I'm not going. I'd go in a second. Really, go in a heartbeat. Yeah, <laughs> go in a heartbeat. Yeah. And I tr yeah. and I trust Elon Musk to get me there. But no, what they're going to do is they have this big giant rocket. I can't remember. They have a new one. It's I forget what it's called now. Uh, maybe you know Charlie. Maybe you know Scott. Mm -hmm. Somebody here knows. Uh, but it, it's the big one that they're going to send up, and uh, it's going to be able to hold quite a few people and it's going to be quite large inside and it's, they're going to shoot it up and it's only going to go into orbit around the earth and then in orbit there will be a fuel tanker that it will hook up to and because they would have used up most of their fuel taking off and how they, come he doesn't uh, use a plug-in high uh, you know plug-in uh, uh, uh well not, not hybrid uh, the car type thing you know, he, sent, he sent up his his car, that lotus looking car, was on the top of the thing. That, yeah, on the top of the rocket. Didn't so, that go to Mars? No, 
<clears throat> what do you say on that? Oh, it's far out of that. Space. that sounds so stupid. It's going to the, the far out of space. It's going to the edge of our solar system. Yeah, space junk. Yeah, space junk. But uh, uh, it. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, way to recycle those batteries. No, you're no. talking about it refueling. Oh yeah. Could, then it's going to pick up, suck up all the fuel out of that thing, which is going to yeah. be enough to get it to Mars and get to land on Mars and to take off from Mars and to come back. So, uh, and if if it, that isn't enough, they'll probably just take a another tanker and mm -hmm. send it off to Mars, so that when they get back into orbit from Mars, they can. Refuel. So, refuel, yeah. So, I mean, uh, he's got it all planned. He knows that. He, he says by, by 19, by 2004, we should be on, on the moon and be starting a colony there. 2004 is come and gone. No, 2014. If, if 2024. Excuse me. 24, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm getting old. What year is this? Is this 1846? I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Uh, no, but so they, are they gonna are they gonna send up people on the first time? Probably not. Probably a monkey or no. They're gonna send up. They're gonna send up Donald people. They're Trump gonna, and a monkey. They're gonna something. send up human beings. What? Oh, we know. We By have the way, a, here here's an interesting little fact I found out in this documentary. You know, they then sent up a second rocket to the space station where people went and stayed for six months, and this time they sent four people up. Okay, do you know who one of those people were was? The two astronauts he sent up originally both married other astronauts. Were married to other astronauts in the astronaut oh. program. The woman, one of the the woman who went up on that trip of four, was the wife of one of the two astronauts that went up the first time. It's nice family business to be in, huh? Yeah, you know. Uh, and maybe uh, they should send up the husband, that the uh, Christy McCullough. The teacher that was on the one blow up, blew up, blow up yeah. one. Yeah. Why would you do Anybody that? Anybody remember seeing that? Yeah. I do. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It was Humanity pretty time. horrific. I yeah. Guess. Well, that set space travel back a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we uh, to begin with, when we had that uh, that uh, the problem on the on the launch pad uh, with the fire. That set us off back yeah. a year at <laughs> least, a, two years, while they figured out what caused that. Alumni, and then when you had the Challenger, when you had the Challenger, they yeah, it, was an, it was another couple of years. And then uh, we had that other one in which it was returning to back uh, from uh, about thirteen yeah. or eleven. Or, yeah. Yeah. We had that, but no, I died with that one. He's talking about when when it blew up, entering the re-entering the Earth. Yeah. 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 Which one was that? One was Challenger and the other one was Challenger. Challenger. Well, Challenger was Challenger was on the way. Challenger, Challenger was... blew up, and the other one was takeoff. Yeah. yeah, the Challenger was on takeoff. Yes. Okay, and the other one was like I don't know, it's Columbia or whatever. But one of them, Columbia, I think you're right, Charlie. One of them blew up because the pieces of that actually fell around Austin and Dallas. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Pieces of that. Wiped out about 16 Republicans. Years ago, when I first was into computers, um, uh, somebody put out a program for the Mac, which was running a space shuttle, piloting a space shuttle. It was much like a flight simulator, but for a space shuttle. Yeah. And the space shuttle was the Challenger. Wow. Really? Yeah. And I, my joke used to be, well, I have this. I used to show it to people. And they went, wow. They stopped making that one fast. Uh, I said it works great, except halfway through it, it explodes. It, my <laughs> my computer just gets trashed. Uh, yeah. But it, it, you know, that that was all those things set us back. But we kept going just so we could go to the space station and deliver toilets. Yeah. I don't know. You know, we did nothing on all that time, and then then we stopped the shuttle program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Obama so, stopped. So the then shuttle we had program. to start paying the Russians. What about? How many millions per oh, yeah. astronaut? Yeah, send their astronauts up. Yeah. Yeah. Why did Obama feel that he didn't want to fund NASA any longer? Wasn't that he didn't want to fund NASA? That wasn't NASA. Obama. That was the Republican Congress. Well, it was Obama that stopped funding. No, uh, it wasn't. He couldn't get funding through the Republican Congress. No. Well, yes, Phil. Believe Charlie. He knows what he's talking about. I looked. <laughs> I, I was on Charlie's. Uh, 
web page the other day or his Facebook yeah. page. I looked at his resume. Don't ever challenge Charlie. He's okay. got a degree in astrophysics. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I get the third degree all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, but it, it was, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's been a rather, it's it's pissed me off because we, we, we waited so long. But maybe waiting this long has been a good thing because with private industry taking it over, we're finally kickstarting this whole thing. Yeah. You know, it's finally somebody saying, well, look, there's money in this for us. Let's do it. You know, has Bezos done anything else with? No, his... he's just got his little thrill rides. He may as well. Yeah, he he may as that. well take that rocket down to a carnival and give the <laughs> rides there, you know, because he's not doing anything with it. That's not that's not space travel. He's doing. He's taking people up to the edge of uh, uh, space. Atmosphere. Uh, well, not atmosphere. Further than that. Uh, oh, 60 miles. 60 miles where all of a sudden you hit weightlessness, let you be weightless for about three minutes and then comes back. Now, is that space travel or is that just it, a thrill ride? At my that weight, could, it would it'd be a pleasure. <laughs> that, could, that could replace the garlic festival in Gilroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what's even worse is Branson's. Branson's is just, uh, you know, it's a kind of like, a, you know, Oh, it's a hot air yeah. balloon. It, it, yeah, yeah it, just, it just goes up and... That's uh, uh, Virgin comes, uh, Galactica, whatever it is. Yeah, Galactic. I mean, it's not You're it's just because it's got your name in space there. Space travel is when they put those four people in there and they send them up to the space station for six months. You know? And, and by the way, all their outfits, their spacesuits, those aren't really functioning spacesuits. Correct me if I'm wrong, Charlie. They're not really functioning spacesuits in that they don't create an atmosphere in the space suit uh, they do feed it oxygen with the helmet on but that's about <laughs> it uh and, but the the outfits if you notice them were designed by a hollywood designer who designed space suits for science fiction movies yep yep Sorry. i think it's kind of they're kind of cool too i, I would love one of those you know they should yeah. sell Use them on the, the uh, spacex site what yeah. Is that what they used on the Enterprise? They were just left over? Uh, <laughs> right. Right. I was just watching a movie tonight uh, uh, for a moment or two on uh, on uh, TCM uh, starring Zsa Zsa Gabor called Queen of Outer Space. I don't know if anybody remembers this picture, but it's one of the more mm -hmm. memorable sci-fi pictures yeah. about a bunch of about three astronauts who go to Mars or to Venus and... Uh, they don't seem to mind that the temperature on Venus is 875 degrees, but let's not even sure. argue about that. That's okay, darling. But when they get there, they meet a, uh, Amazons who live on this planet, and the leader is played by Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> who looked uh, pretty good. Huh? What? Who looked pretty good. She lo oh, she looked f f spectacular <laughs> oh, yeah. back then. But <clears throat> the best part is, is that... Um, um, they borrowed, they, it was such a cheap production. They borrowed all their costumes and sets from other companies, and they're all <laughs> wearing the same outfits everybody wore in Forbidden Planet. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I was watching her sister uh, on uh, the Green Acres documentary they had on YouTube. Yeah, Ava. Yeah. 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 She wasn't bad looking either. No. Oh. No. Uh, who okay. who was their mother? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Magda. That's yeah. correct. You got it, Charlie. <laughs> I still got it. I still got, got it. it. And there was, you know, a, there, was a, there was there was another sister. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember her name. Eva. 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 No, we always said Eva. No, it, it, Ava. Oh, Ava. Yeah. A Ava was the other one, but there's a third one. There's a third sister. Third Gabor sister. Oh yeah, Jojo, Ava, and. And uh, Ringo, I think. Yeah. <laughs> she was from Hungary, right? Yeah, they were from Hungary. Yeah. All the Gabors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what happened to that other sister. They never talked about her much. Magda. It was like Magda. Harpo. No, Magda, Magda was the mother. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Zsa Zsa, Eva. Eva. 
Eva or Ava? Ava. Ava pronounced it, yeah. And it might be how oh, it's it spelled what? Eva, but I think okay. it's pronounced it Ava. Maybe but. the other one's Eva. Wait, hold on a second. Let me just, I'll look it up. You, yeah, you, that's what I'm doing. I think there's only two. Oh, no, it says three sisters. No, there's three. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Eva, Magna. Magda is the mother. And Shaja. No, no uh, I, I don't think Magda's so. Magda is the other sister. I don't think so. No, Magna's right. the other one. Oh, okay. Magna, Magna okay, one. but the mom was was pretty. What was a mom? Not Magna. parents is Jolie and Vimos. Uh, yeah. Jolie Gabor and Vimos Gabor are okay. the parents. Oh, okay, that. all right. And the uh, the sisters a- are a- Eva, a- Magna, and Jaja. And, uh, Jaja. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What kind of a fucking name is Jaja? Does anybody here know anybody named Zsa Zsa? Oh, does anybody know anybody named Magna? Mag- Magda. <laughs> Magma. It's right, Magna. Magma. Like, yeah. yeah, it's Make America Great Again. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Very good. No, it's Make, make America, America uh, Great Don't Again. No, no Make again. America Mediocre Again. Magma. Magma. Make America Great Dumber? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! I don't know. Yeah. I give up. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, I, so Jaja wasn't a nickname. That was that her actual name, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Z- I just Z- it was a nickname. Z- I have a, a friend. I'm, a, a, please, if you know who I'm talking about, don't say it, okay? But I yeah. do have somebody I know who's who's Russian. And has relatives back in Russia and friends back in Russia and keeps talking to them all the time. Honestly believes that the Ukraine or Ukraine is completely filled with nothing but Nazis. That the government there is a Nazi-run government. And that the films that we see here, nobody, no, no civilian has been hurt in that war over there. That's all propaganda from Ukraine and films they have made up. Tucker Carlson says that nobody's been hurt. It's all fake. It's got to be real. That's, that's that was fake, and it was fact checked. And he didn't say that. You know, Snipes or Snoop yeah, but, uh, never said that he did. Snopes. Snopes. Snopes Alex Snopes, Jones did called. say that those kids at, at Sandy Hook never got killed. Yeah. Well, they he's, he's going to have to pay for that. Even the bankruptcy doesn't seem to be saving him. Good. Uh, nothing's going to be sa- is saving him, and I'll tell you, if you're gonna if you're gonna shut somebody up, that's a good way of doing it. You know, I corrupt them. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, a good propaganda program will work if you do it right. And yeah. He seems to be doing it right. Look well, what Hitler did. I mean, I, I've yeah. been watching the rise of the Nazis, and look what he did. Well, I mean, look, look at look at Putin. The lies that are being spread over there. That's and, what I mean. And, and he's this, doing he's doing exactly what. The people, well, Hitler did. He's people in Russia, for the most off part. all outside communications. He's got the right people there he has, pushing all the inside communications. And he he's has got that unprecedented framework. support, by the way, we might add. Putin. Pardon? Putin has unprecedented support. Yeah. yeah. How come some of his soldiers are laying their arms down and surrendering? Well, and because doing... they're there. Yeah. They're, they're there and what's they going see on. what's really happening. Yeah, yeah. they're outside, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not going to buy. As were the German soldiers as well. They're not going to buy Putin saying we're winning that war over there. You know, as a matter of fact, what was it? Who our um, our uh, Secretary of State, uh, uh, Blinken, Lincoln, Lincoln, uh, and his uh, the de- the Secretary of Defense, Nod, Boyd, Nod, uh, Boyd. Bo- Boyd, Nod, so Blinken, no, and Nod. Boyd. I forget his back last name. It's Blink. Uh, I I'll, I won't try that joke again. Lincoln's the secretary. He he, of State. He, he he doesn't get jokes because he's too busy talking. Lincoln and Nod. It took me a while too. Hey, you yeah, know, I was, was the I was the part of the class that made the I was the part of the class that made the top half possible, the bottom half. Y- yes, right, exactly. <laughs> um, they say that in gay sex too. Uh, <laughs> oh, are you a bottom? <laughs> yeah, the tops the, make the bottom the possible. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, uh, but you know, I mean, I, uh, I, I just, I, you know, I, I, I kept saying to myself, well, how do these people believe that in Russia? 
But then I realized that if you have an absence of, of, of news and of information, and that's all that's being fed to you, then you believe that to be true because that's happening within your bubble. And it's not that you're stupid or anything else. You're just not being given any other information to feed into your decision making on what's right and what's wrong and what's happening and what's not happening. And if and you don't over, agree, over they kill you. Over again. And and that's kind of what was happening here. At least Trump was trying to do was trying to pass nothing but false narratives yeah. about himself. Right. I mean, he. You know what I love is this guy McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy. What a piece of crap this guy is. This is a so guy. Polished. This is a guy who they have a recording of him. Basically saying, uh, I think Trump is wrong. I think we probably should uh, uh, ask him to leave uh, office before his term is over. And then when he's confronted with it, McCarthy says, I never said that. And then they play the recording and he goes, well, I, he doesn't know what to say. He asked Trump about what McCarthy said. And... Uh, Trump just kind of, you know, said, "Hey, it was, you know, no big deal." Well, because because McCarthy's his toady now, you uh, know, you know. But the thing is, he's not. The thing know? is that this that that uh, McCarthy, um, uh, he when confronted with the actual audio of what he said, denies he ever said it. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Donald Trump when he says it on TV and 15 stations pick him up. He says, I didn't say that. Right. You remember mm -hmm. what Clinton said when he was uh, 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 accused of, of something and he, he said, just deny, deny, stall, you know, that, and that was his uh, way of fighting it off. Well, he, he, he didn't deny. He just said, I did not have sex with that woman. Monica Lewinsky. Now he right. said and a blow job is not sex. And, and is it's a right. blow job sex is the question. It's right. Always had right. been in my book. No, it's only when you're giving not in my asked, book. Though, when somebody it, they didn't when, include blow jobs. When people would say to me, when somebody would go on a date and I get blown, if I can say that without losing my monetary uh, <laughs> stuff here uh, on YouTube, uh, my monetization. Uh, uh, if they asked me if somebody blew me on a date and they said, did you fuck her? I go, no. You know, because I didn't feel I had sex with her and I didn't feel I had sex with somebody if all I got was a blowjob. You know, well, I, was, I, I, was, I was sexually satisfied. There was no question about that. But I didn't have sex with them. Sex I think that's a very sex, intimate no, thing. No, sex involves penetration. No, well, penetrate the mouth. You know, no, that, that's no, a very no. intimate thing. No. Now yeah. it's coming to you, Alex, where you remember Phil from. <laughs> <laughs> no, that glory hole was you. <laughs> well, I will say You're I did. The glory I, hole. I will say I did have sex with Phil. So I, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> anyway. There it is. Yeah, because quite frankly, he gave lousy blowjobs. And I just, you know. <laughs> He kept going, ooh. Oh, he's so. turning red. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, uh, I, uh, uh, I, uh, I, that's why when he said that, I knew exactly what he was saying. He was not eliminating the fact that he may have been gotten head out of, out of Monica Lewinsky. But he was saying he didn't have sex. And uh, oh. I'm most, and by the way, by the way, if you ask a woman, did you have sex with the guy? And she gave him a blowjob. Women will not say they had sex with the guy. Oh, okay, no. But didn't he penetrate her with a cigar? There's that story. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. But he who doesn't like a good who, who doesn't like a he good cigar cigars. now and then? You know. Well, <laughs> maybe it was his cigar. <laughs> you know. You know. But I mean, I, I uh, it, it is so sad. I think that we even made such a big deal out of that. You know. Because that goes down in history, <laughs> and you say, "Well, what did they impeach him for?" They go, "Well, he gave, he got a blowjob." No, he lied. That's what they impeached him. Uh, he, he, yeah. he lied about what? What? The blowjob, I think. What or did he the sex? He, he no. Said he didn't have sex. So he didn't have sex, and I. How many here? How many guys here will say he didn't have sex? Okay. 
I say it's sex. Yeah. Uh, if Kevin it's isn't sure. Sex. Kevin went. Only when you're on the receiving end. Right? Hey, if I was lucky enough to get a blowjob, I was happy it was sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, but you, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it. it but uh, the, the whole that whole incident, if you think about it, how frivolous, what a waste of time it was, you know, and how it ruined uh, one poor woman's life, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, it's very sad uh, what happened to Monica Lewinsky and and. And the, and the dress in the public eye, you know, ruined her dress too. <laughs> yeah. What am but, I? What am I flipping? You know, the president me? decided to lie to everybody. Yeah, yeah. They that all was do. his strategy. They all do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he didn't become a big president after that. Nobody talked to him for years. Well, I mean, it it. it it, it was a, but you know, it was. Uh, boy, uh, is my picture flipping a little bit? A little bit. More? A little. Yeah. Uh, it's glitching. Not too often. Yeah, it's glitching. Let me see here. Me, but in his here. second term, he got a lot more done yeah. when he went a little bit more towards the center and he started working with the other side. He he got a lot of things done. Well, uh, you can, you, yes, yes, yeah, 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 Scott. You said that. Uh, Monica Lewinsky's life was ruined. Well, I, I think I think it was certainly put on hold. You know, her net worth is forty one million dollars. I yeah, think you'll get over it. Daughter. She she's uh, she she's uh, what, what what was she the heir to? No, she wasn't. Uh, she uh, I think she got it from her books. She I think she her? made it. You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know who her parents were, but. Forty-one million. I'll, I'll get over being ruined. Well, her oh, parent, I used to work oh, for oh. at WMCA, <laughs> and I worked for a guy named R. Peter Strauss, and R. Peter Strauss was married to Ellen Strauss, and then she died, and guess who he went off and married? Monica Lewinsky's mother. Right. Oh. Yeah. She and uh, now, didn't they have something to do with Macy's? Uh, yeah, Abraham, Abraham, and Strauss, Strauss, no, Abraham and Strauss. It was Abraham and Strauss, right? Let me. Uh, if, uh, uh, our Peter Strauss was part of the family that created Macy's. Right. Okay, the right. Strauss family. Uh, they also, the grandparents of our Peter Strauss, died on the Titanic. Right. Remember, in the, every movie that you've ever seen, they have this couple, and she goes, "I won't go without you," and so they stayed on the boat together and. Let it go. You went uh, down with so the what shoe. you're saying is is that um, Clinton came into money. <laughs> <laughs> How does that relate to Trump, Alan? <laughs> uh, were we talking about Trump? We weren't. <laughs> hey, Clinton. Trump Clinton. came into uh, uh, Clinton. Clinton came into money. Good. Did I say Trump? Yeah. Sorry. You meant you, oh, you didn't, but I oh, okay. figured I'd help you. Money. Yeah. It, it Clinton, yeah, that's good, yeah. Alan. Once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Well, you've had your quota. Right you've had your today. quota for this year. Uh, yeah, like, but anyway. I mean, Ashley Acosta says that, the, uh, that Monica Lewinsky grew up in Beverly Hills, that she came from money. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. 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 Was yeah. her father a doctor? And uh, and it was an investor. Is, it, is her mother still alive? I get, is her mother still I alive? Does I don't it say? know. Does it say anything like that there? I have no idea. She uh, went to school in Saint Monica, or, uh, Santa Monica. I know our Peter Strauss is dead now. I think. Yeah. She must be from the. Yeah, but she she I mean I always I always felt rather sorry for her because I I felt if you if you. It, it, I felt that where were the where were the uh, the uh, women's lib libbers, if you want to use the term, in that mm -hmm. time coming to her defense and saying, here they're they're vilifying this poor woman because she simply because she's a woman, you know. It was your type. She was my type. I I would have. I, yeah, I would have done done her. Yeah. 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 He was very young. Remember, we got to think about. Bill it. would have taken sloppy seconds for him. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, she was what twenty four something. Twenty four. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always, I always felt very bad for her because I felt that um, uh, she was being vilified for just you know she she found this guy attractive and she came on to him. 
She sedu- she actually seduced him. Let's be yeah. honest about it. It wasn't like he was spending his whole time trying to seduce her. But, you know, she's... What are you laughing at, I don't at, know. Jim? You weigh her and you weigh his wife. That. I think I'd be doing her. Well, I mean, all I'm saying is is that uh, I think that Clinton, at that time in his life, was starting to go through that midlife time. And here comes this young girl who's hot for him and is seducing him. And he gives in to it, probably easy more easily than he should have you know he should have thought twice about it but he didn't um and um i don't know when you're the most powerful man in the world he's not the first president when he uh, he was the governor you may be the most powerful man in the world but you're still one thing you're You're a man man, when he was the governor of arkansas the uh troopers used to go and get girls and bring them back he he was a hound dog when he was the governor and it was you know well I'm known never came out was first first and yeah and and let's talk about matt gates okay anyway oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, yes charlie yes yeah, Monica Lewinsky's little mother little. is still alive and her father is i guess still a doctor uh yeah yeah really medical doctor yeah so an oncologist yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, an oncologist, huh? Yeah, and they're not a gynecologist. <laughs> and they're Jewish, I believe. It said he was a Jewish from uh, yeah. parents from the Germany. Jewish. Jewish last name. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right on that. Yeah, but yeah. but uh, um, well, oncologists do very well. I mean, my oncologist. We got our money. Well, my, yeah, my oncologist. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, they made uh, how much they make on my uh, on my radiation. They made something like uh, sixty-five thousand dollars, and then on my seeds, that was another forty-five thousand dollars. So, how much of that did he get? Hundred thousand, yeah, yeah, you know. So, yeah, but how much? How much did your surgeon or your doctor actually take money at home? What do you mean? What What percentage of of that amount of money did they? That the guy who actually did the work. Well, part of it was paid. the cost of the hospital for the use of yeah. the radiation stuff, but I'm sure he got a nice little piece of, of money out of it. You know, they 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 don't they, they lease that equipment from like General Electric or yeah. it's Simmons or whatever, and every time they fire it, they have to pay a certain fee. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? That's not cheap. It's not cheap. It no. kind of, the radiation was kind of fun because uh, the radiation machine kind of became my pal. Uh, because well, it would come around, would go, and then it would come around, and I'd go, hi there. You know, it would just, <laughs> did you have to sense. fill, Alex, did you have to fill your bladder completely to try to get it mm-hmm. out of the... Yeah, and yeah. that was the worst. Otherwise, the radiation. Well, you had to do it. Well, you, you, had, you had to do it five days a week for how many weeks? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yeah. I only Good. had to do five. Uh, I only had to do five episodes of that. Really? Wow, you yeah. got lucky. And you just go and you drink a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, you drink so many glasses of this liquid, Water. and then you go in there, and uh, they. And one time, I, I drank too much, and I had to go in the bathroom, and they said, "Would you unfill your bladder a little bit?" <laughs> and I'm going. <laughs> Now, now, wait a minute. I just drank a whole ton of water. Yeah. And you That's know what be... happens when you get that in you? How, when you finally go to the bathroom, you go to the bathroom and there's yeah, no you can't stopping. The radioactive beam passes through your bladder. But, 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 but an I... empty bladder is a chance of having a, the inside lining of your bladder burned. And that's why they want the liquid in there. Well, there's another, uh, there's some other reasons for that too. No, but anyway. there's another reason. It, it moves your bladder away from the area that's being irradiated. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, I go, oh, okay, I'll go give it a try. And now I'm in the bathroom trying to just le- let a little of it out. And then I have to rush back and say, hurry up, <laughs> you know, do this. <laughs> and they look, they go, okay, your bladder looks fine. And they went and they, you know, they wanted me to empty it out and then re-drink the stuff and wait again. And oh. I didn't want to. So I had to do that once. Yeah. So, but, Drink uh, the piss? No, and I I had to go, and so I went. And I, they said, "Oh, you don't have enough left in your bladder, so you got to go back in the waiting room and drink more water." Well, the radiation they did on me, I think, did a kind of number on me. To this day, I still have like a stinging when I urinate and things like that. Which I hear that if I had just done the seeds, that wouldn't have been the case. 
you know. Mm. But mm. he felt I should do both, so, you know. Uh, I don't have cancer, no. but... <clears throat> I, I yes. got a quick question. Yeah. How many people know people who are presently sick from COVID? Uh, I had two customers. Uh, I saw them er earlier last week or late last week. I got a phone call tonight, today. A uh, customer said both she and her husband tested positive for COVID. And had they taken the medication? Uh, they took the test and they're just, uh, they said, you know, they don't feel bad or anything. Yeah. They've all if you start feeling anything, then you should also take this second thing, these pills now that you take. Is that out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they, you said that they were going to send them free to everybody. To, no, uh, to no, 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 no. You have to go to a but doctor. You got you to test positive for COVID before oh, you go. No, no, no. There's some other ones that I just no, heard about. No, you have to have your doctor prescribe them to you. Right. And you have to do it within five days of coming down with the yeah. sickness they're, part. They're, they're, they're approved by the FDA, EAU, emergency, EUA, sorry. Emergency use authorization. Yeah, but it, it supposedly with that you're you're good to go. And yeah. there's something the Rendezivir and Rendezivir. Uh, they, I don't think it's even being used anymore. Uh, no, they said that that they just approved it actually. Yeah, for, for like kids, for kids, for oh, kids. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, all this talk about peeing. I gotta go pee, but uh, I guess I can <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> a couple more minutes. Yeah, but uh, you know, I mean, so easy I'm, for you to say. Yeah, <laughs> think of flowing rivers. <laughs> but uh, I, I oh, the thing I loved about the radiation and, and also in a way about the seeds was just the science fiction nature of it all, you know, uh, just being under this machine. It, I, I didn't feel anything when they did the radiation, didn't feel anything, but it just went by to. and they say, OK, now we're get, they they did a lot of tests and moving and run throughs and mm -hmm. the doctor would look and see where he wanted to radiate and so on and so forth and they said okay we're going to do it now and one minute later two minutes later it was over with you know mm -hmm. and he came the i came by again and went hi how you doing pal you know uh but it was uh, yeah, well if it's done right you don't feel it but your system absorbs it and so systemically you can have side effects from it Oh, well, you have side effects from this after the fact. My oh, doctor sure. said something to me when I went in for my thing the other day. He, uh, you know, he did the digital thing. And I said, well, how is it? He said, well, they pretty well made that flat. You've got a flat prostate now. It means you don't have any bumps from the cancer. You don't have anything. You've got a pancake in there. You know? I got nothing. Not Phil. He had his removed. Yeah. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's flat as a, you know. But uh, I just have a urethra. Well, I, as, I, as I said the other day, the thing I loved about my urologist, I wrote him and I asked him if I should stop taking this one pill I was taking because, you know, do I need it? And he said, well, let's face it. They fried your, your prostate. <laughs> and he said, in parentheses, not a technical term. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was finasteride, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, was it giving you any side effects uh, no. finasteride. No. He grew a lot of hair, didn't you notice? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good for this right there. Yeah. It, its name brand is Propecian. They use it for hair growth, too. Yes, that's correct. For anybody that doesn't know. Yeah, but I, I, Propecia, though, is a slightly different formulation, and I think, isn't it a liquid or is it a pill? Yeah. It's a liquid. I don't know. Yeah. This if is you a, raise your hat, that's the surface of Mars. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're one to talk. There's a mon's difference there or something. Anyway, hey, you know something? There's that theme song. That yeah. ugly, horrible theme song that we play at the end of the show to say, shut the fuck up. Uh, but uh, thank you, Phil. I always appreciate it when you drop by and stick around. And uh, your, your usual wonderful pain in the ass. So I yeah. just want you to know that. Scott didn't get mad at me. <laughs> you were pretty good. I, I must admit, it's been very pleasant with yeah, Phil here today. Yeah, yeah, Phil's been pleasant lately, you know, for the most part. Hey, well, I've had to shut him off because I usually listen. Then yeah. I you're like, ah, uh, can't take it. I have yeah, to shut him off. No, I'm glad you're here tonight, Scott. Good having well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, great having you here, as always. <laughs> uh, Jeff, love having you here. Um, uh, Alan, wonderful. And, of course, Charlie Wallace. What would we do without you, Charlie? 
uh, we probably yeah. have six people instead of seven. Anyway, <laughs> that's all there is to it, folks. Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you here. And uh, uh, just uh, say uh, good night to you. There we go. There goes our citizen panel. Let me just uh, uh, get rid of them here so that uh, they can go over and play with Jack Bishop, who is next over most of this same gabnet. Uh, I'll uh, I'll be here again. I'll see here tomorrow night. Yeah, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. See you later. Mm-hmm.